Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Destiny 6 guide. And today we're going to be talking about substats and what I feel is the number one substat in this game. This video is going to be quite long, so I hope you guys have your popcorns ready and take a seat. And here's the lesson. Today we're going to be talking about substats. We're going to be using my Scissor Jaolin as an example. We're going to start from the bottom up because the top to the bottom is pretty self-explanatory. The bottom is talks about disable duration increase, which means this is this disable. So if you look at my Xiaolin, she has a 35% chance to stun for 3.5 seconds. In total, it'll only be 3.5 seconds. But if you were to have substats, on your orbs and your crest that gives you disable duration increase you get a total of 12% per in total of four orbs and four crests that will be a total of 24% and you would increase your stun from 3.5 seconds to 4 seconds or so Anyways, we're moving on to crit damage decrease basically what that means is when the opponent crits you it amplifies by multiplication by attack and crit damage basically giving you a total damage let's say we're gonna use 10,000 as an example so if so let's say you got crit damage decrease and you have a total of 30% reduction based off of your substats you would take only 7,000 damage versus the total 10,000 damage. Okay. The next thing we're going to talk about is buff duration increase. Buff duration increase mainly involves another unit named... Uh, let's go to my Adonis. Okay, we're just going to use him right now. So buff duration increase, basically that means how long your buff lasts. So currently... Solid stance lasts for 8 seconds. And if you were to get substats, buff duration increase substats on all of your substats, which would be a total of 12%, potentially 15%, that would pos possibly be 30% total from your crest and your orbs, you would have a total of, let's see, 8 seconds. 8 seconds times. 0 0.30 so you have a potential to go up to 9.5 to 10 seconds on your shield so that's a very powerful um, substat buff duration increase okay the next one is a D buff duration reduction basically what that means if the enemy is using some type of let's say blind poison or silence and stuff like that you have a chance to reduce it by an X amount of uh, seconds right you, but you don't know how, how high their skill ups are how long it lasts for but overall that's what it's for to reduce the longevity of being controlled CC'd by your opponent okay the next one is status activation chance. Status activation chance is an accuracy check in this game. Basically each skill in this game offers a percent chance of landing their debuff. Unfortunately, a lot of them are very low percentage. So getting it from your substats would be how it, you can use to help activate your skills. Um, like I said, once again, status activation chance can be activated by skills in the game and or by substats, which is a total of, like like I said, 3% chance on each orb, total of 12 in a set, 24 in total, high chance of 30%. And also you can get from titles and, of course, from your crest. So there's a potential to get a really high status activation chance up to 40% plus if you built correctly. And we'll go into why knowing these specific things and why you should be building it accordingly to that. Status resists 
pretty much basically means if you have a buff that you don't want the opponent to strip. So let's go back to Adonis again. So Adonis has a invincibility shield or let's say Sierra has a reflex shield. You know, any type of shield. Okay, this status resists. Believe it or not, in this game, there's a strip called um, this is a strip called strip and there's a strip called shield strip 100% but it's not actually 100% it actually does a resistance check so basically if you were to build your Adonis in PvP you would want him to have well over 40% status resist to make sure the opponent does not strip your invincibility shield on your team okay next sub stat I'm going to be talking about is crit damage a uh, skill cooldown reduction and skill cooldown reduction is to me the number one substat in this game and the reasoning I am saying that is because cooldown reduction is instant it happened it's already applied to your skill you do not wait for you don't have to wait for casting a skill for it to take effect I'll show you an example here pretty soon but everything else up here is pretty self-explanatory so we're gonna go ahead and take some units out here to the playing field and why I say cooldown reduction is the number one substat in this game and it's up automatically applied at the beginning of battle. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Go to the highest. I'm gonna put Adonis in here and I'm gonna put S. Carlotta and I'm gonna take her out and I'm just gonna use these two units because they have these two units I've been working on for the past couple of days working on their CDR okay we're just gonna go ahead and go straight into here I'm gonna pause at the very beginning of the screen I'm gonna talk about what's going on at the beginning of the screen here currently Adonis his at max guild his invincibility shield is a 35 CDR that means cooldown and Kalada currently has her first skill max which is her cooldown skill which is a 45 second cooldown currently Carlotta has 32% CDR and Adonis has 28% CDR okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use their skill and you can see the difference in time Carlotta at the at the beginning was 31 seconds okay in her skill at max level it's a 45 second cooldown because we have CDR already applied onto this skill we have 32% CDR it's now at 31% so you can imagine if you really focused hard on CDR you can get it up to 40% her cooldowns on her skill will be much less same with Adonis we're gonna go ahead and use Adonis here Bam, 26 seconds when you first started. Okay. So we're at the beginning of the skill. The skill was already at 35 seconds CD. And automatically, when we did the skill, we have a 28% cooldown. And after that, we had a total of 26%. I mean, 26 CDR. So that's how powerful cooldowns are in this game. So if you guys are going to be building characters, I would recommend cooldown to be number one stat on every single one of your units. So with that said, here comes the other part. We're going to talk about three different units and what they're going to be used for. Okay, one of the units is Benito, right? Benito, he's an attack type. He scales off crit and or attack but he's an attack based unit so in order you want to build him like I said number one stat in the game skill cooldown and the next stat you want to focus on is the buff duration because the longer this skill lasts the more damage he does the higher cooldown he has the long the faster this skill will come back to be available to be used again so those are the two main substats you look for before you actually start looking at attack crit rate and crit damage those three are the are bonus substats 
So basically, if you want raw damage, I recommend going Bravery set. But if you want to go to the potential harder route, which is the Concentration set, you will obviously need your skill cooldown, your buff duration, and you get your crit rate, crit damage, and attack from there, assuming you actually get it. Which is 1 in 1 millionth of a chance is <laughs> very, 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 very low. Okay, the next unit we're going to talk about here is Paper Kerr. Okay, Paper Kerr, he's different from Benito, of course. Benito is attack type. He doesn't do any type of CC. So things like, I'm going to bring up an image here. So things like, so things like, you know, um, attack, crit rate, and crit damage is not as beneficial to Kerr as it is to build HP percentage and cooldown reduction and status activation, right? Because what he what does he do? He stuns, he bleeds, and he stuns and he removes buffs. So basically for Kerr you would need different type of substats which would be of course number one cooldown number two status activation and the other thing would be HP and all the other substats that are coming extra and you want to build them on a Vita set so yeah so as long as you focus on the two main substats everything else is a bonus okay sure your 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 HP is not gonna be skyrocketed but I would rather have you or you as a character that you're building like 22 23 K HP Kerr with 40% cooldowns than to have a 28k HP Kerr with only 5% cooldown. Because the cool the higher cooldown Kerr will always win. Right? So the last unit I want to talk about is Adonis. Okay. And we're gonna go really in depth with Adonis, okay? Adonis, he's obviously he's gonna be built on Iron Wall. And the main substat you're gonna be looking for is one. Skill cooldown, two buff duration, and everything else is a bonus. Mainly because he does have a knockback, but we don't really care about his knockback because we usually use Adonis mainly for his shield and potential to do whatever he does on his second skill. The main thing I want to focus on, there's a PvP side and a PvE side. PvE side, you want to focus on skill cooldowns and buff duration. But in the PvP side, you want to focus on skill cooldown and status resistance. Because you don't want to get stripped. And that's why I meant by using Adonis and building him differently. There's two different type of builds. There's a PvE build and there's a PvP build. So remember that. Whatever you're using your Adonis for, that's what you need to build him for. But you could definitely build him, you know, with just cooldowns and buff durations, but you have a higher chance of actually getting your shield stripped. Let's see. Alright. Let's see what else I have in the screen. I think that's all there is to this video. Um, that's all I really wanted to talk about in this video about just mainly building units according to what they are doing. So yeah. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions about the game, feel free to leave it in the comments section. If you guys are looking for more content in the future, just go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And that's all there is for this video. I'll catch you guys later.